Today marks the start of our European adventure, which is our most ambitious trip yet. We plan on spending the next three months driving over 1,500 miles from London through Paris, where we can hopefully swap our winter coats for swimsuits as we act like birds and head south for winter in search of warmer weather. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. Well, I slept okay, except it's really noisy when all the snow falls off the roof and down the side, so it kept waking me up. After a very cold minus six night, we are very happy this morning to be heading off to France in search of warmer weather. Hi there, we've never done this before. What do we need to give uh, you? Well, I'll put it all in the streets, but just need to pass it with me. Okay, easy. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Okay, thank you. The hangs you too. What a sweetheart. I doubt that's right, so let us know in the comments and we will fix it. As soon as I arrive anywhere near the week. I want to go straight to the deck. Let's go outside. <laughs> you want to go and see what we can see? I want to see the top floor. ferry and we'll be in France in about half an hour. We have no plans other than that so we don't know what we're doing. Let's see where the roads take us. So we'll be arriving into Calais and then after that we can go down. So we just keep driving. All vehicle drivers and their passengers please now rejoin their vehicles. Oh welcome to France. A oui oui. Bonjour. I don't know. So which side of the road do we drive on? I'm very underprepared for this. So the rules don't let you bring any food over from England. So the first thing we need to do is find a supermarket in France so we can refill our fridge and we won't go hungry. In the past 24 hours, I've had about eight pan au chocolats and three croissants. So now that we're in France, we need to buy some cheese. We are at the Intermarché hypermarket, which is the biggest supermarket we could find. But what we found so far is meat is so expensive. 12 euros for four chicken breasts. Don't know if my French is wrong, but this chicken is 38 euros. That can't be right. Well, this one's 43. No, thank you. I think we're gonna have to go vegan in France. Meat is way overpriced. You are too expensive. Can't buy you. is a little bit expensive. I'm not happy about that. If you're new to traveling in a van or a bit nervous about hitting up Europe, France should be your first stop. There are tons of little rest stops and most of them are free to park overnight and they offer services if you want to pay extra. Can't use our pipes at the minute because they'll freeze so we're improvising. What temperature is it? Minus six? Minus six, yeah. Fastest done. <laughs> Looks like we've got new neighbours and they're leaving their generator on all night long. <laughs> oh, I love the office so much. It's far too cold to do anything outside because it's like minus six. So we have snuggled into our bed in the van and made ourselves really toasty and warm. We're at a really beautiful campsite. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head, but I'll put it here and let you know. This campsite was the closest free parking space to Paris that I could find. It's really secluded and isolated and super quiet. It's kind of like in a forest with a lake by it and a beautiful old manor house. It's got six parking areas and it's completely free to stay here. So if you get a chance to visit, I would recommend it. 
The building's also really beautifully decorated for Christmas and everything's just sort of sparkles when you go past it at night. Also, we made a spice rack, we forgot to tell you. We made that the morning we left, which is why it didn't make the last video. We had a really early start, so we're feeling a bit zombified. Driving a van into Paris is probably not a sensible idea, so we stayed at a campsite just outside the city and got the bus into Paris. But we've arrived in beautiful Paris! It's Joe's first time in the City of Love, so I'm really excited to show him all of the typical tourist sites. How romantic! Someone's getting married! We're here by, what's it called? Arctic Triumphe. We're here by the Arctic Triumphe. That is not what I said. I don't know if it's because they lost the World Cup last night. It just seems to be that they drive wherever they feel like driving. It's just a free fall. <laughs> This is crazy here. It's so busy and so packed with tourists. But me and Jodie are both starving, so let's move on. We have Go. made it to the Eiffel Tower. That means we're in proper Paris now. So we can now check the Eiffel Tower off our bucket list. How much? 15 euros for a hot dog. I just found out that the Eiffel Tower is really, really high maintenance. It has to be repainted every seven years and takes like 60 tons of paint to cover the whole thing, which is quite a lot. And I totally didn't just read that on Wikipedia. I knew it all along. After coming this close to spending 30 pounds on two hot dogs, we're going to go and find somewhere cheaper to eat. Oh, there's just a dodgy man who's just following me. Is this lunch? Are you too cheap to take me to a restaurant? Much better. We're uh, not too worried about being robbed here because uh, Joe might be scaring them off by the way he's eating his pasta. What are you doing? You're a lunatic. Joe's going to make up for his cheap lunch with a Starbucks. Yeah. Thank you. So we can cross over the bridge and go to the Concorde and then travel down to the Louvre and go and then see Notre Dame. That is not a jackhammer. It is a jackhammer. Oh. <laughs> hmm. It's so packed, I don't think we're going to make it inside, but we can appreciate the beautiful structures outside. We can now check the Louvre off our bucket list. This feels so James Bond in here. I know we're not supposed to do it, but I do find them really, really sweet. I haven't seen a single guy dressed as Gaston or the Hunchback of Notre Dame. A little disappointed in this. Even a poster. I love Paris, it's one of my favourite cities in the world and I'm really excited to show Joe how stunning it looks at night when all the lights are on because it's like a completely different place to during the daytime. I have to hand it to Joe, I didn't think we would find Quasimodo but... Ooh! I don't know what is going on but there's like a hundred police cars with their sirens on heading in that way. I don't know if we've missed like a major event or something. And we have arrived at Notre Dame Cathedral. It's not looking its best, but it's definitely still a sight you have to come and see. That is the most French thing I've seen so far. There's a guy in a beret playing with puppets in the street. I love him. Look at him. So we found a really cool Christmas market by the Notre Dame Cathedral. Hello, can we get one more wine, please? Merci, monsieur. Merry Christmas! Yep. Oh god, that's hot. Oh, that burn. Oh, it tastes nice. That's like the definition of golden hour. That is stunning. So we've just hit sunset in Paris and it looks amazing. Wow, even over there, yeah. the cathedral. We can now check Notre Dame and Quasimodo off our bucket list. I would like to come back one day and show Joe inside the cathedral because it is apparently stunning. We're going to try and take on the metro. Apparently it's a simple route. Um, I'll probably get it wrong. It 
was a little bit expensive, it was about 45 euros for the night with electric cook-up, but it was definitely worth it to be able to explore Paris so easily. We recommend Camp Paris for easy access into the city and a safe place to leave your van. Oh, I am exhausted. We've just, <laughs> no, that looks so ridiculous. We've made it back to Camp Paris and we've had a quick shower and a freshen up. So now it's time for dinner. It's gonna be a van life meal of cook whatever you have. So we've got one onion, some potatoes and some beef mince. So bon appetit. Tired to eat. Paris is so exhausting. Join us next time as we continue our van life tour around Europe. We wish you a very Merry Christmas and a wonderful New Year. Stay safe, be good, and don't do anything we wouldn't do. Merry Christmas!